Bang, knees and eyes. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara is playing the piano, so you might hear her in the background. I got uh, another Tucson in the mail through one of the ones I ordered. I think I ordered three, possibly four, but I think it was only three. This was the last one that I got right here. So this one got here in relatively three and a, three weeks because I did order it after I got, or I won it, I should say, after I got this model. Let's get into it. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, really excited about this one. Don't want to scratch the finish or anything. They do wrap these things up crazy and they do put them in oil i got a rag here they do that because of the shipping from china they don't want them to rust or anything like that so and you know they don't know the type of environments they're gonna go through so it's actually a good thing there she is oh yeah that was some good action right there boy that was a good detent. Wow. I'm going to get back to that in just one second. Very, very awesome. Now, this has the um, the grenade pattern. I think this is called the grenade. Um, but it is an integral. Very, very awesome. Great looking clip. Let's, ooh, look at that finger tool. Man, this thing is comfy. My God, is Tucson killing it. It is a front flipper. Let's see how that works. Oh, awesome. Works really good. Middle finger flick. Bang. This thing is awesome. And it has a flipper on the back. But if you look at it, you know, see how this one is? The, the flipper tab's a little bit big. So it can kind of get you right here, especially because um, the jimping's not all the way up to the top. This one has that top jimping. Very nice. And this is a little bit, and it doesn't really protrude. See how this kind of just goes right into there I'm not trying to review it or nothing but it doesn't stop you at all man this thing is awesome i don't even remember what steel this was m390 oh uh, i did pay a little bit more for this i do remember what i paid i did pay a good buck for it but this is the thing this is a titanium integral knife an M390, so I am not complaining about the price I did pay, but I will tell you guys what I paid. Let me just feel it out a little bit. Um, the blade geometry could be a little bit better, but this is great blade geometry. I don't know why I said that. This is great blade geometry, especially compared to a lot of other companies. It's just Tucson's been doing what I call amazing blade geometry. And this is great blade geometry. I wouldn't call it amazing, but it is very good. And maybe they were looking for a little bit more of a harder use geometry. Here comes Kara. Um, nice, nice action. It still has to break in a little bit. I like this big pivot collar. Man, that is badass. And this front flipper just works so damn good. Baby, you wanna check it out? Very, very cool. Yeah. Sorry. Whoa. The, the grenade. I think it's called the grenade. Wow. It's an integral. I love that frag pattern. Love that frag pattern. Me too. Pattern. Is it a front flipper? It's a front flipper, back flipper, and a middle finger flicker. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Whoa. It's yeah. nice, right? Heck yeah. And it's a good size too. Yeah, it is. It's wow. a good front flipper it's actually. It's heavy, but I like it. Yeah, I like the weight. It's, a very it's an integral, size. so they yeah. can't mill it out. Wow, yeah, this thing is dope. I can't believe I just middle fingered it with ease. With ease. Look at that choil too, that front I choil. Know, I was just very nice. It's got a good ergos, right? Yeah, it does. Good access the to the The jimping is bar. perfect too. It's very grabby, but not hurty. Yeah, very, very cool. Now let's show the size really quick. So this one is a bit smaller than some of the last two sons I got. Yeah, it's nice. Um, not by a lot, but it's, you know, like the size in this direct dimension, all dimensions, basically. It is, you know, a bit smaller. You see the thickness. 
Um, this way, I don't know if it's that much. No, this way it's got, that's where it's um, actually pretty cool. It's nice and thick right there. So it still fills out the hand. And this little part right here kind of still gives you a placement because I don't know if you notice like, um, I don't know, with me, my, my pinky tends to kind of sit at an angle sometimes, you know, depending on the knife. So this actually works really well. And this is nice and rounded, so it kind of just sits right there. Now, the one thing I will say for certain flippers, which this one doesn't bother me, I don't have a problem with this. And I guess since it's so grippy already, you don't need it. But I'd say a little bit of jimping back there wouldn't hurt from it sliding. But I don't have a problem because it's already got so much grip. Great clip. Let's check it out really quick this out first it is a little tight but that'll that'll break right in um yeah it's not bad it's not bad i think it is a little tight i didn't think it was going to be that tight but uh yeah it works good and i like i like a tight clip listen to it yeah that's that's a decent clip very very cool i am absolutely loving it and i like this like i was saying just a minute ago i like how big this pivot collar is what type of um stop pin it must what type of stop pin is it because i'm kind of confused right now because oh okay so it is is it internal stop pin let's zoom in just a little bit i can't see it is it oh this is the stop pin i see okay so it's got the tight or the the steel lock bar insert but it actually locks up on. Is there steel in there? Oh, look at that. Oh my God. They put, is that a, I, maybe I'm wrong. Hold on a second. Let me, let me hang on one second. Let's look at this. Let's get down in here. Is that a steel insert back there? I can't tell. Maybe it's just the milling. I can't tell. Maybe I'll have to come out with it in the the review. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just milled back there. But I'm wondering if this is just the stop pin, just the titanium here. If so, that's cool. I mean, I don't think that this type of landing zone, since it's nice and flat and that's flat, there's no geometry of it scraping. It's just smacking. So that isn't never something I would worry about. Like a lot of times people worry about, say, a titanium frame lock with no lock bar insert. Well, that's because it's constantly rubbing, right? It's constantly rubbing into place. You're unlocking it. That's different. This is just a smack. It's just a smack zone. <laughs> In the smack zone, it's just connecting and that's it just bang so that wouldn't make it tear it apart or make it um defect i guess you could say man the action is just getting better and better and better the more i flip it it's just getting so much better now this is a um good jimping wow wow this is some really good jimping back here you can see i didn't mean to flick it out i was trying to show you how it's like kind of catching my skin all right now let's flip it I'm going to do a push button first. Yeah, it doesn't really like the push button because it'll catch right there. I guess that didn't make sense. I was, I was kind of dumb. I should have known that because this is... The, <laughs> I should have knew that was going to happen. All right, a light switch. <laughs> Feels really good with the light switch. Um, And you can, you can kind of do a push button if you just slide back like that. I guess that's not really a push button though, is it? There you go. There's a push button. I'm trying to do different ways of flicking it, but you just... Flip it and it's fine. Very reliable flipper in all different directions. I am absolutely liking this one. I know you guys hear me love two sons, but I did knock some recently. So um, it was, uh, you know, I mean, it's not that they make every single knife perfect. It's just that they're newer models, which this one is a relatively newer model. It's before the 200s. I, right at this second, I can't think of it. Um, it's on my phone over there, but I, you know, obviously you guys know because you read the title, but, um, yeah, they're, they're definitely doing so much better work than they used to. Now, I guess you could say they could have better blade to handle ratio here, but then again, I guess you don't want to be able to touch it though. Right. So, I mean, I don't know, I guess not, maybe not. It's good. I kind of like this blade length. This is a good blade length. 
right around a little over three inches. Nice, nice. It's like three and a quarter, I'm thinking. It depends on where you measure from, but if you measure right from that peak, maybe, yeah, about three and a quarter. And you can slow roll it nice and easily. The detent is nice. It's a crisp. I'm not holding the lock bar. Because sometimes people hold the lock bar roll it down and it makes it really click. Like right now I'm doing it. I'm not doing that right now. Here, I'll just do it on the side so you can see. Nice clicky detent. Let's see if I can do it with the left hand middle finger flick with me holding the lock bar. Oh my God, that was so easy. And I was holding the lock bar. Yeah, this is going to be an awesome one. Let's check out holding the lock bar here. No death lock at all. Not whatsoever. Look, I will push right on the detent. Perfect. No death lock at all. This is an awesome knife. Can't wait to do the review. Love you guys. Sorry this was 11 minutes for me to play with it a little bit. I know I did a lot. But you know what, though? All the other things will come out in the review. What's good, what's bad. And we'll get through it. Love you guys. Peace.